everyone, welcome to the vlog today. You'll hear the Roomba, roomba -ing. it's so loud. Is everyone's Roomba this loud? Just like live with a loud Roomba? I don't know, it's loud. I just realized something that has been bothering me. So there's a sound on TikTok that's popular now from In The Heights, or maybe it's only popular because I'm on theater TikTok, maybe it's not actually viral. Because I said it to Corey the other day, he's like, I have not seen this. There's this thing where part of the In The Heights movie, it's only in the movie, it's not in the musical. Uh, Snobby all night, you barely even danced with me. Don't make me laugh, I've been trying all night. You've been shaking your ass for like half of the heights. That. So it's popular now because they made a filter. Every time you blink, you get like, it puts a beard on you and then it makes you like look more feminine. And so like people are switching back and doing both parts. But every time I see it, it drives me crazy because most people aren't saying Usnavi all night, you barely even dance with me. Their lips are saying Usnavi all night. Usnavi all night. And I'm like, his name is Usnavi because he was named after the US Navy. It makes me mad and it's such a dorky like musical theater person nerd thing to be annoyed with. I'm like, why is everyone saying Usnavi? His name is Usnavi. And I just saw Bella Porch do it, which means it actually is a viral thing maybe. I just saw her do it. And she, her mouth says Usnavi all night instead of Usnavi. And I'm like, why is everyone doing that? And I just realized, I think people think she's singing, you saw me all night, you barely even dance with me. Because that makes more sense. If you don't know this show, you would know his name is Usnavi. And it does sound like you saw me all night and you didn't even dance with me. And it just makes me feel so much better knowing that people think the lyric is you saw me all night instead of them thinking that his name is Usnavi because that was really bothering me. <laughs> People thought Usnavi's name in In the Heights was Usnavi, because it's not, it's Usnavi. You're welcome for starting off this vlog with the nerdiest musical theater rant in the world, but do you guys know what I'm talking about? Do you watch TikToks? I don't know. It's been bugging me for a while, and I just figured out, watching Bella Porch, I was like, why would she sing Usnabi? Why is everyone singing Usnabi? And they're not, they're singing You Saw Me all night. I think. I have physical therapy soon, which I really need because I am in so much pain, but I hate physical therapy, so I'm like dreading it. But I'm also looking forward to it because I usually feel better after. That's all, bye. Hello, I just finished physical therapy. It's fine, feel better. But guys, I'm in a bad mood. I'm in a bad mood. Privacy is so dumb. Why does it make me so, like why? Ah, this means I get. But I have words. Why is that so much control over my emotions and my, I'm in such a bad mood. And for what? For nothing, for no reason. I'm in such a horrendous mood. And normally I just wouldn't film if I was in a bad mood. Like I just wouldn't turn on my camera. I just wait until I was out of my funk. But like this is part of my pregnancy is that like I get in these like raging, angry, pissy, bad, sad, depressed. I mean, you name it. I get in all those moods and they're so intense and I am in such a bad mood right now. And I'm trying, I just almost threw up. And I'm trying to figure out why. I'm like, why am I in a bad mood? There's nothing to be in a bad mood about. Like, there's literally no reason. What's the reason? What is the reason? There's no reason. Why am I in a bad mood? I'm in, oh man, I am grumpy. And I feel mad. Like I got in my car to go home for physical therapy and I was like, I don't even wanna go home. I don't wanna see anybody. I don't wanna look at anybody. I don't wanna talk to anybody. Why? For what? Like, why? Why does it do this? Why does pregnancy do this to me? <sighs> I'm in a bad mood for no, for literally no reason. And that's how I'm doing right now. So I thought I'd let you know. Does this count as road rage? Don't worry, camera's all hooked up. I'm not even like looking at you guys. So it's, that is not hindering my driving. And honestly, I would be saying this even if I wasn't vlogging because I talk to myself a lot. Like I'm always talking to myself. So I'd probably just be saying this, but the camera wouldn't be rolling if I was not filming right now. So anyway, I'm in a bad mood. And for what? For no reason, just my day feels ruined. <laughs> for no reason. Like I'm in such, I'm in the same type of bad mood. Like I feel just as frustrated and angry and upset as like when something horrible happens in my life. Like that's how I feel in my heart right now. My brain and my soul just feels like so angry, but for n literally nothing, no reason. I gotta go. I'm, I'm, I gotta go. Hello, I'm in a little better of a mood now. Tell them what you're gonna do. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna do the pillow. Pillow, I'm gonna do the pillow. 
He asked to put the pillows on the ground. Remember a long time ago when he was much littler, we would put all the pillows on the ground and he would jump down on the floor. That's what we're gonna do right now. But not the whole thing, just a couple little bubbles. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, you wanna sit down and do it? Oh, that's fun. Whoa. Uncle Coco has umbilical cord blood on his legs. I just saw that. <laughs> You'll understand later <laughs> if you see the live go. Okay. Yeah! Ah! That was cute. That was cute. <laughs> that was so cute. <laughs> Super Grandma! Show the rest of you! Super Coco, we need you! Okay! Coco did it! Super Coco, I rescue! I can change! <laughs> I'm getting stuck a little bit! Beep, 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 boop! We need you! We need you! We need you! All three of us! <laughs> What am I getting in my body? Water. Water. Medicine. Medicine. Jumping out of there. Over into your mouth. Into my arm. Into your arm. Mm -hmm. You're all done with this? Not yet, almost. Don't touch it. Okay. Oh boy, I got my heavy. I'm standing because I'm about to rehearse and if I sit down, I won't stand back up. And she had to leave in the middle of my IV to go help another pregnant woman, which I'm very glad she had to go do. But my IV finished before she came back. I just panicked. In my head I was like, oh, it's done. So is it sucking blood out of me? Is air getting pumped into me? And my mom clamped the cables or whatever, but then I could see my own blood going into the, into the IV and I just had like a full blown like, anxiety through the roof, like heart pounding, thought I was gonna vomit, like I just did not do well with that. But anyway, she came back and wrapped me up. And I need to rehearse my show, but Flynn's about to go to bed, so I can't be belting songs when he's asleep. It's bedtime's in 20 minutes, so I'm gonna try to sing for 20 minutes, and then I wanna try on dresses, because I don't have an outfit for the show yet. And so I thought I would try them on with you, and you guys could help me pick out what I'm gonna wear at my live show. But first, I gotta sing. I need a microphone. Ooh, I'm pregnant. My tummy's really growing. Ooh, what a mess. So long to eating sushi. So long to drinking caffeine. Okay, so here is the dilemma of the evening. I have a lot of dresses to try on. I don't know what I'm gonna wear for the live show. I kinda want two different dresses, which is hilarious, that I think I am capable of doing an outfit change in the middle of a show while pregnant when I can barely get dressed once a day. Um, but I'm gonna try. So, I have a bunch of dresses. Some, this could be a moment for us, guys because something that a lot of pregnant women have a hard time with is the drastic and abrupt physical change in body. And it's of course necessary and beautiful and wonderful, but also it is hard. It is challenging to deal with that. And I don't know if these clothes are gonna fit. <laughs> I got some pregnant, like maternity dresses, but they don't look like how I thought they were gonna look. They don't look like formal, like nice cocktail dresses. They kind of just look like casual. So I don't know if they're nice enough and I also don't know if they fit me. And I also have dresses that I used to wear in my live shows when I was like a size zero, size two, and now I am not that size. I'm 40 pounds heavier than that size now, which is awesome because it means I'm growing twins. I'm not talking negatively about it. I don't know that they're gonna fit me, but like trying on clothes that are too small is something that is hard for people and it is hard for me sometimes when that happens. When I try to put something on, I think it's gonna fit and then it very much does not. Like to the point where last night I literally had a dream that I put on my an old pair of skinny jeans, like a high-waisted pair of skinny jeans that I used to wear like every day when I was not pregnant. And when I put it on, my bump went away. I was like so excited and like showed it to Eric. I was like, look, I'm, I look like I used to look. And I was so excited. I woke up and I was like, oh, I gotta put on those pants. And I was like, oh, yeah, I 
looked in the mirror and I saw this and I was like, oh yeah, I can't wear those, obviously. <laughs> so anyway, that was my very long intro to trying on dresses. I also don't know how many of these I'll be able to put on in my exhaustion. So let's get started. I think I'm gonna try on one of the ones I bought from this maternity place first. I'm like kind of disappointed. They look so like cute and formal on the website and like, they look fancy and they just are like not it. I don't know. So I'm kind of sad about this. So this store, I got these in case you care about these dresses. I got this dress, looks like this, and the bottom has a little ruffle. And I got this dress, which looked like a satiny type of dress, but it's just literally t-shirt material. And then I got this dress. Again, it looked really fancy and nice on the website. And then now I'm seeing it in person. I'm like, Relax. They were cheap. The store was called Sexy Mama Maternity. So if you're looking for cheap dresses, they were certainly cheap. Um, I'm gonna try them on now. This is not it, okay, <laughs> hold on. So this dress is just like, I don't under, the lining, you can see through it here. I don't like this at all. And also there's like a lining under the boobs, but there's like a bunch of, it's too small. Not happening. Let's look at the next one. Next one. So this is fine. Again, it doesn't look like, like a show dress to me. It's really comfortable. Definitely look pregnant, but I don't know that I like it. What do I think? Next one. Okay, here's the next one. Again, I like the color. I like that it's like a bright, fun color. It's gonna be hard to find anything that works because I'm pregnant. <laughs> And nothing fits when you're pregnant. It's really hard to find stuff that works um, when you're pregnant. This one's fine. I feel like a, like a pregnant like politician. So those are the three dresses that I found, like maternity dresses that I thought were gonna work and it's clearly they don't. So I bought a couple of maternity sparkly dresses like from Amazon <laughs> that are supposed to come in the next couple days. So maybe one of those work. But until then, I'm gonna try on some of my old dresses, which is terrifying because I know I'm just gonna like probably be sad. So let's try some of those on. First, I'm gonna try on a couple of green dresses. So this one, I don't think this one's stretchy. Maybe it is. This one might work, I don't know. In 2019, I wore this at a Christmas concert. This is a dress I bought but never wore. Oh, it's an extra small. This one's not gonna fit me, so I'm not gonna try it on. So let's try this one on and see if it works. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Do we have a winner, winner chicken dinner? She is the queen of the Emerald City. I'm shocked, so I can't get it zipped up all the way, but it's not because it won't fit, it will fit. It was exhausting trying to get that zipper up, but I can feel the clasp can go together, I just can't do it myself. I am shooketh. I feel like this, I'm gonna say it, I feel like this looks better on me pregnant than it does when I'm not pregnant. Like, I like the way that it looks. I am pleasantly surprised. It doesn't fit my boobs, but I think that's fine. It fits my bump nicely. Here's the other issue I'm gonna have, is that the show's in a week and a half. And as you guys have seen, my bump grows substantially every single day. I don't know what I'm gonna look like in a week and a half. So even though this dress fits me right now, it really might not in a week and a half. That's how crazy my twin pregnancy bump has been. I'm gonna keep trying on stuff, but so far, I'm pleasantly surprised. It's comfortable, it's sparkly, shows off the bump. What do we think? Okay, I'm gonna try on the next one. Okay, so the only other two I'm gonna try on are these two. I wore this dress, I'm pretty sure, in my final show before COVID in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And this dress, I think, didn't fit me right or something, so I never wore it. So I don't know if these are stretchy enough. So we're gonna try these on. I am shook up. She fits. I can't believe it. This one's not as comfortable. And the thing I'm worried about in this, I get really winded, obviously, when I'm pregnant. And I'm worried about like getting sweaty and fainty and wearing long sleeves and feeling like it's a thick sequin material. I'm worried about like sweating and feeling fainty. But it does fit, so it is an option. This dress is kind of fun because like from the front, it does, I don't look that pregnant, I feel. Do I? I feel like from the front, I don't. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, maybe. I am gonna try on the last one. You guys have to tell me which ones you like so that I can pick one or two. One more. Okay. The one I was gonna try on is an extra small, so I just decided not to try it. This one, it's not zipped up all the way, but it will it will zip up, I can tell it can. It normally goes to like here on me, but because my bump is so big, it's like pulling the whole dress up, so it's really short. So I feel like at any moment, you're gonna be able to see all my bits. I don't know, I feel like a robot or something. I don't know, I like the green one the best. I'm glad the green one fit. Woo! 
I'm exhausted. I can't believe I tried all those on. Which dresses did you like? Give me a top three in the comments. Tell me in the comments your top three, which ones you liked. I do have a couple more coming. I'm eager to try those on and see what those look like. But right now, I'm digging the green one. All right, love you guys. I might have to be done for the day. I might, this might be the end of my vlog. I don't know. Maybe I'll see you later, but probably not. Okay. <laughs> you can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast.